I found this circuit somewhere on the internet. It's a circuit from a voltage controlled oscillator. And uh, I was uh, interested in whether it worked and how it worked. So I made this circuit. It's made with a 555 chip. Very common. And the first things that you have to do is to make some connections in the chip. Connect 8 to 4 and 2 to 6. And after that you can solder in all the other components. I found that the circuit worked very well. On 10 nanofarad there is a possible frequency range from 400 uh, hertz up to 29 kilohertz. And when CX here is um, 100 nanofarad, you can reach these frequencies. 0 uh, volts uh, 34 hertz, 26 volts 7 hertz, 0 volts 60 hertz, 26 volts 19 hertz, 0 volt uh, 3.5 kilohertz, and 26 volt 950 hertz. You set that by means of these two potentiometers. I use two potentiometers here to make the circuit completely uh, experimental so that you can adapt it to your own uh, needs. Uh, you can also use a fixed value resistor here, but of course then the frequency range will be limited and also the pulse pause ratio will change. I want to demonstrate it now. This is the experimental circuit. At the moment the frequency from this loudspeaker, frequency on the scope, frequency on the counter 1.4 kilohertz and when I change the voltage now here by this uh, voltage source you will hear that um, it changes goes down to let's say 100 hertz or so I don't know that exactly uh, the signal is quite weak so the triggering from my scope uh, doesn't work properly, but okay, no problem. Here the triggering works again. So it's a very useful circuit with the, this uh, 555 generator. Quite somewhat unstable, but I'm sure when you mount it on a decent uh, board, etc., these problems don't occur. I want to demonstrate uh, the function from these two potentiometers here. I turn one now and we're going to look at the scope. This one here. That's this one in the circuit. Now in the middle of the screen. So let's set it, set it to this very low frequency and when we change the voltage here now we we are going to see that the frequency changes substantially so this is very useful for experiments with generators lamps etc Uh, one other experiment, I change it again now to another frequency. So you have to do experiments to fit the circuit to your own needs uh, with this potentiometer and that one. And when all is finished, change these two potentiometers by fixed values.
if necessary. This is the crucial cap. And this is the input. I made the input via a 10k resistor to drive it completely with a voltage and not with a current. Wish you luck.